Hi, I am Atal and I am a space enthusiast. I have been learning about space since I was four and I have learnt lots of facts from reading books, watching videos and documentaries, listening to lectures and visiting astronomy museums. Now I would like to share my findings over the years to you all, with you all. I'd start off, I'll start off the series with our closest star, Sol, also known as the Sun. Now, where is the Sun? The Sun is located at the centre of our solar system, within the Milky Way galaxy, the galaxy we reside in. Now, what is the Sun? The Sun is a medium-sized star and around halfway through its life. Technically, it is a mid-main sequence G-type star. Now, you might want to know what a G-type star is. A G-type star is one of the most common types of star which we will cover in a later episode. A G-type star can also be called a yellow dwarf. Mid-main sequence means it's midway through its main sequence stage where it's the most stable and the main sequence stage is the longest stage for all stars. Why? is the Sun important? The Sun keeps the planets in stable orbits and provides light and warmth. Without it, Earth would be a frozen, lifeless, rogue planet. Here are some facts about the Sun. Inside the Sun's core, at the centre of the Sun, hydrogen fuses into helium, releasing energy. This energy takes 100 million years to reach the surface of the Sun, but only 8 minutes to reach Earth. Even though the Earth is 93 million miles away from the Sun, compared to the radius of the Sun, which is only half a million miles. Something interesting about the Sun is that while its mass is 1.3 million Earths, its volume is 333,000 Earths. This means the Sun is very dense. It's lots of mass clumped, pushed into, which is still a very massive ball, but st smaller than if it, if it had the density of Earth. Another thing that is interesting about the Sun is that the Sun is not a solid, liquid or gaseous state. The Sun is in a state called plasma, which is a gas stripped of its electrons. This makes it in between a liquid and a gas. Something that is going to happen in the future is six and a half billion years from now, so we will not be around then, the Sun will run out of hydrogen in its core and enter its red giant phase where it swells up and engulfs Mercury, Venus, possibly Earth, until it releases its outer layers and becomes a white dwarf and leaves behind a planetary nebula. Thank you for watching.